Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2012 Honda CRV, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Hopkins 12 volt power outlet kit. So, right away, here's what the 12 volt power outlet is going to look like. You know, pretty standard, kind of just has your standard, you know, cigarette type port there that you can plug different accessories into. Now, let's kind of talk about why you need this. Um, generally speaking, you're going to use these if you're using a portable type braking system uh, for flat towing. So, for example, our customer here today is using the Blue Ox Patriot 3, and those need a power supply. Well, a lot of times, um, you know, these CRVs, for example, whenever you put it in tow mode, you don't have power to your, um, you know, to your, your factory 12 volt socket. Um, and so you need you need a dedicated one and honestly too even if you if your vehicle factory one did have power I think I would rather have a dedicated one anyway just so I know that's the only thing you know it's, it's getting power from and it's protected and everything else so this is going to provide us with a spot that way we can plug our braking system into it and have it function properly uh, whenever we're flat towing but you know with that said I mean you can put these things anywhere uh, really if you say, you know, maybe wanted another one for, you know, some type of charger that you like to use or, or whatever, whatever type of accessory, you know, that can plug into there, this is going to power up. So, you know, you can pretty much put these anywhere and use them for just about anything. But like I said, you know, one of the most popular reasons is for the braking system. What is kind of nice about this one, uh, it does have some sticky tape on the back there, and you can use screws to secure it so you know it's not going to go anywhere. There's a cap that actually covers the port there, and that's good, you know, especially if you mount it down somewhere. You don't want change falling in there or other type of stuff in there that can cause, uh, you know, a short or something for the next time you go to use it. So, uh, pretty well thought out. You know, there's a nice plastic housing around it to keep everything protected, so it should do a uh, pretty good job. Just kind of a demonstration on how this works here. We'll go ahead, put our braking system in place. And when we need the power, we'll just plug it in. You can see the light illuminated there. And then we're able to set up our braking system. We'll power that up, set it up, and it's gonna provide us with all the power that we need for this to function properly. So at the end of the day, if you plan on using a portable type braking system uh, with your CRV, this component is definitely a must have. Now, as far as the installation goes, um, pretty easy, believe it or not. There's, there's really just two wires. You know, you got a ground and a power wire, which you will run straight to the battery and then just mount up the socket itself. So uh, really shouldn't give you a whole lot of issues or, you know, take up a whole lot of your time. So no problem getting it done at home in the garage or maybe even in the driveway. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put that on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be underneath the driver's side dashboard and we need to mount up our outlet. And so what I've done is simply just mounted it to the kick panel here on the side towards the back. That way it doesn't interfere with our e-brake or anything like that. And there's actually some two-sided sticky tape on the back of it, and that's how I just secured it to the kick panel, and it's actually in place really well. There is slots right here that allow you to use a self-tapping screw if you want to, but I figured it's in there really nice. There's a lot of wires and stuff behind this panel, so why even kind of risk it drilling into it? But with that said, there's gonna be two wires that come off of our outlet. A red one, which will go to battery power, and a white one, which will need to get grounded. So the white one, I simply just routed over to here. All right, and there's a factory bracket there with a nut on it. I pulled that nut off using a 12 millimeter socket and that wire, a white wire already has a ring terminal attached to it. So you simply just slide the ring terminal over the stud and tighten the nut back down and that'll provide us with that ground that we need. As far as the red wire goes, that's going to come off of our outlet and we're going to have to get this into the engine compartment. So I simply just routed it kind of just along this edge here of our dash. And then I ran it 
straight against the firewall there's a factory grommet there and poke the hole in the grommet push that wire out into the engine compartment now in the engine compartment here's where that wire comes through the grommet and i just routed it along through here and this is going to get hooked up to a fuse holder which will go to the positive uh, battery terminal so fuse holder already has these uh, butt connectors pre-attached to it so you're simply just going to strip this wire back put it in and crimp it down the other one you're going to remove this nut using a 10 millimeter socket slide that ring terminal over it and tighten it back down now before you do that before you put this on make sure the fuse is not hooked up um, you want to get this all tight and connected before we put the fuse in so once you have it set up like so you take the included fuse and put that into the holder so now just to do a quick test just to make sure we have power I just grabbed a, uh, a USB type charger and when we plug this in we should see the blue light on uh, my charger here light up and if it does that indicates to us that we have power Get that plugged in you can see that blue light come on and we know we have power up here so whenever we're ready to hook up our braking system or you know whatever else you're trying to do uh, more than likely the braking system we know that we're going to have power and it will operate and that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the hopkins 12 volt power outlet kit on our 2012 honda crv